some of you know what this car is, but most of you probably don't have a clue. This is a 1985 ASC McLaren. So, the gist of it is that it's a 5.0 Fox body. However, ASC McLaren produced basically this platform with the same engine, automatic transmission. This one's a convertible, but basically all custom body panels in 1985. Now, only 257 of these were made. Even less were made of the coupes. So, pretty rare car. Um, this one is a 5.0. I'll go ahead and get the hood popped. We can check out under the hood. Uh, the air does blow cold. I know that's a very important thing. Comes factory with Recaro seats. Speakers in the headrest. Pretty cool little option. Custom door panels. These are, these are actually factory, so I say custom, but ASC McLaren is the reason why they look like that. Um, this one has odometer reads 4,000 miles, so could be 104, could be 704,000, could be 4,000. Um, this is number 148, limited edition. I thought this was pretty cool. But you know if you have a tail light out, headlight out, washer fluid low, or low fuel, pretty cool. Um, I have not messed with the radio. Looks like we do have radio. Got to get it working here, though. Sometimes these things act up a little bit. I'm not going to spend any more time on that, though. Um, we do have oil pressure, fuel gauge, temp, and ammeter, tachometer. All accurate. Turn signals. E brake. Those Recaro seats are something else, though. But while we're sitting here, let's go ahead and see if we can put this top down. I'm not sure if, uh, if I've put this top down yet. We may, we may not. Let's see. I don't know what I'm doing. Don't yell at me. We'll figure it out. We'll go ahead and latch this back up. I think there's pictures of it with the top already down on the website. But what's important is the top is in really good shape. All the, the windows are real clear, so look real good. The paint is pretty phenomenal on this thing. It has been painted, but it looks really good. And what's one of the, the differences for the ASC McLaren, so the front end is a little different, and the hood's a different shape, the fenders are a different shape, the doors might be the same, uh, the quarters are a different shape, the trunk lid's a different shape, and that tunnel uh, cover slash uh, top back pieces of different shape so um and the tail lights are a good bit different too so let's go ahead i'm gonna pause the video right here get this hood opened up so you guys can check it out bear with me all right hood is open just kind of do a little gander in here and see what we're working with 5.0 efi high output so that's cool you can see the ac is getting nice and chilly on these uh, AC lines so it seems to work pretty good just all factory though hasn't been all modified over the years which is cool Fox bodies in general usually don't make it out unscathed so Pretty cool uh, seat setup. I like it. Nice leather. Now it does, uh, from the factory, have the rear seat delete. 
So we'll take a look at that more over here on this side. The other thing I was going to point out is the tail lights are a good bit different. They're recessed in, almost Frenched, if you will, into the body. So that's kind of cool. Pretty darn cool. Little cubby storages. Nice. Let me close up this hood and we'll go drive this thing around the Circle K. See what kind of people we got over there. Boom, hood is shut. Can someone really start a website and call it the people of Circle K? We can get like the people of Walmart uh, in competition with us. All right, focus. We are focused. Does, okay, speedometer is working. Yeah. Ah, uh, that air feels amazing. Kind of cool because nobody's gonna know what this thing is. The police. power windows Let's see how they work that one goes up this one goes up a little slower but now that the windows are up and I have AC in here it feels amazing yes it do all right so driving into our showroom which is something that the general public does not do um, they would park outside and come in and browse around, but um, if you were to walk in, you could walk all through here and see all the cool cars that we have. Um, ultimately, we get our hands on these things so that you guys can take them home and love them and call them yours. So let's uh, go ahead and get you falling in love with something sooner than later. And I have found that it's a little easier uh, if you ask for forgiveness rather than permission, I hope my wife isn't watching this video because I'll be in big trouble. We're doing the full park job on, on video today. You guys are lucky, lucky you. You get to see how this is, how this is done. Make sure we don't hit anything. I think that's about it. Let me pull forward, crank my wheel to the right just a little bit. All right, don't judge me too harshly. Let's see how bad I did. It's a little weird. It takes a lot of get, getting used to because the door handle is actually up underneath here that way. So. That's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and, uh, oh, wait one. You have to push this little button to get the key out. Give me one second. Ha, there we go. All right, let's see how crooked I am. Oh, could have pulled forward a little more. Not too shabby, not too shabby. But that's going to wrap up the video on this 1985 Mercury Capri ASC McLaren. Um, 
like I said, it's basically a Fox body Capri Mustang. Uh, however, very rare. They only made 257 of them. Uh, you still get the 5.0 and all the coolness of the Fox body, but you just get a little bit more rare touch in there too. Also, I did want to point out the stainless exhaust is pretty tight. It's a good look. So, but that's this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Until next time.